For today's video, we're going to get some gameplay with the new Sub-Zero Zenith Mythic Outlander. And he's currently available in the event store for 3200 gold. And not only are they selling him, but they're also selling Wukong in the event store. And he also costs 3200 gold. And we have already done a review on him. I'll be sure to leave a link to that gameplay in the description for those who want to go check it out. And those were the only two new items that were added to the event store. I am going to go ahead and quickly scroll over everything that's in the weekly store for those who haven't seen it. Before we go over his perks, I do want to show what he looks like every time we evolve him. And this is what he looks like when you first get him from the event store. Alright, so this is what he looks like after the first time we evolved him. He sort of has like a new jacket. Oh, is that a backpack? But yeah, that's what he looks like after the first evolution. Once you evolve him to three stars, he gets the helmet. Oh, it looks like he also got some claws as well. Uh, let's go ahead and spin him around. I think he got some new boots. Some Ugg boots. But this is what he looks like after the second evolution. His claws glow now. Okay. Alright, so his claws are like glowing blue. Let's go ahead and spin him around. I think that's the only thing that's new. Alright, so this is what he looks like after the third evolution. And let's see what he looks like when we evolve him to five stars. Alright, so let's go ahead and spin him around. Wait, was anything new added? I don't know if anything new was added. I can't tell. But this is what he looks like when he's fully upgraded. His three main abilities are Teddy, Phase Shift, and Anti-Material Charge. He also has Focus Acquisition as well as the Loot Llama. And he also has In the Zone as well as Precision Handling, which is whenever you hit a headshot, it's going to increase the speed of your next reload by 7%. And you can increase your reload speed up to a total of 33% by hitting more headshots. And that's going to reset every time you reload. He also has Bear With Me as well as quick scope, which increases your fire rate with sniper rifles. And he also has bear stare, as well as phase runner and eye on the prize, which is gonna grant you one charge fragment every time you get 15 headshot kills. And he also has bear zerker. And at the very bottom, it says peak performance at any elevation. And he also has a couple of bonuses. For his support squad bonus, he has sure shot, which is gonna increase your crit damage by 70% with sniper rifles. And for his tactical squad bonus, he has your move creep which is going to make your decoy periodically damage enemies within its attraction radius. And I do like both of these bonuses, so he's a really good hero when it comes to his support and tactical squad bonus. And as for our loadout, we're going to have Ted Shot Jess in our support slot. So I'm going to show you an example of what that Sure Shot squad bonus looks like. And we're going to have Quick Draw Calamity in our tactical slot. I guess Party Zone's also going to be helping us out for this one. All right, so before we get into the gameplay, I do want to show some examples of his perks and abilities. And the first one we'll start off with is his anti-material charge. It uses a total of 30 energy and it has a 12. Party zone's not reviving me, cookies. Are you close? I'm like too far away from me right now. Okay, so before we get into the gameplay, Party Zone and I are going to show you some examples of his perks and abilities. And the first one we're going to start off with is, is his anti-material charge. It uses a total of 30 energy and has a 12 second cooldown. It only extends up to one tile. So it's not as good as other Outlanders. His phase shift uses 10 energy. They travel 1.75 tiles in distance. They also boost your movement speed for 3 seconds every time you use it. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> he has a total of 3 charges. And they each have an 8 second cooldown. And this is what it looks like without the little movement boost from our shovel. Is how fast we run. And again, that lasts for three seconds. He also has the Loot Llama, as well as Focus Acquisition and In The Zone. Last ability we're gonna take a look at is his Teddy. And if you use it without a charge fragment, uh, the cooldown's gonna be one minute, and it uses a total of 30 energy. And it does physical damage, but the eye beams do energy damage, and he'll shoot his eye beams every two seconds. And let's see how long it lasts. It's still going. Okay, there it is. So it lasted for a total of 25 seconds without a charged fragment. Alright, so when you use the Teddy with the charged fragment, the cooldown is only 42 seconds and it doesn't use any energy. The Teddy's range extends up to four tiles. Oh my god, my health is slow. 
His teddy also has a couple of perks that increase the duration. He also has a perk that increases the damage it deals, which is physical damage. And it's going to last for a total of 25 seconds. And again, you can't get it to last even longer if you put Carbide or Commando Soldier in your tactical slot, which is probably what we should have done. Oh. Wait, Party Zone is still here. Oh, he fell off the oh, map. Oh, oh, man. That was like bad yeah, he timing. Fell off the map. Rest in peace, Party Zone. <laughs> you know he's going to spawn back. <laughs> right now, we have one charge fragment. Every time you get 15 headshots, It'll grant you another charge fragment. Oh, there it is. We just got one. So yeah, every time you get 15 headshot kills, it'll grant you one charge fragment. And it doesn't matter which weapons you use when you get those headshot kills either. Another reason you want to go for headshots... Oh. Another reason you want to go for headshots is because it increases your reload speed. Oh! <gasps> I no scoped him from across the map. He's AFK, he didn't see it. Oh man. We have a faster fire rate with sniper rifles playing as the Ted Shot Outlander. All right, so the mission we're gonna do is this level 100 repair the shelter and Cookies and Belsie's gonna be helping us out. So I'm thinking let's do a 360 no scope. Look how he hits. <gasps> Almost got him. Oh, I hit him. Oh, you hit me? Yeah, I hit him. I didn't kill him, though. It's like a barrel stuff. I need to get them a little further away if y'all can. Oh, I hit him again. Oh, oh yep. wow. I keep getting oh, hit he markers, man. He man. I put up. No, no. Stop shooting. <gasps> if I would have did. Oh, if I would have did that. I don't know if y'all see what I'm doing, but this is crazy. I'm basically doing two jump pads on this. No, I don't. <gasps> I got another hit marker. What, what did I hit? hit marker what did i i think no, i shot a wall him. i killed him no no you killed him yeah, yeah. he killed it oh wow Let me smash. that was oh, crazy <laughs> hold on i'm gonna kill this one too that was i told you just give me a second get my time people just give me a second <gasps> did i get him too oh, nope i was a hit marker is he in my spot I got him again. I got him again. Oh my goodness, people. That was awesome. Boom. Quick, mom, get the camera. Anyone, try to shoot from high distance. Here, I'm gonna oh, yeah, try, try to make the lava throw from high distance like this. Like this is a bad idea. Uh huh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was smart, Cookie. Uh, we got water enemies. So we can't use the dragon's yeah. claw like I wanted to. I was wanting to try out the dragon's claw and get some gameplay of that. But since we have water enemies, uh, we'll use this old Betsy. And we didn't build around the shelter at all. So, no traps or anything. Take Behind us, go. And everybody's gonna be using snipers. Uh, Grandpa's using obliterator. Cookies is using the tsunami, and Belsie's also using obliterator. And I'm using old Betsy. We uh, <laughs> we 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 lost campfire, bro. Do you need them? Yeah, right. I can place down some more. Behind you, behind us, and take it behind us. So, the most we're critting for is like 400,000 with old Betsy. Keep in mind that it is energy. We could do more damage. Oh, there's half a million. Mini boss? Yep, mini boss. Uh, mini boss. 
Oh, he's ricochet. Oh man. Look, what, what, what? Oh, um, oh he's turret and uh, warcraft. You need to get grandpa get close. You need grandpa to get grandpa to shoot him. Oh wow, he's up. What? Who killed? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> how did I what die? Happened? What? Happened? I don't know. You, I don't know how did you die, but what? What was that? <laughs> what the? I saw that. <laughs> I'm gonna need an instant oh, replay on that, man. What? What just happened? I think right you were there, probably man? shooting. Wait, were you? Oh, it's ricochet. <gasps> I ricocheted myself. Yeah, what an idiot! What. <laughs> <laughs> I like one shot myself. <laughs> oh my goodness! I one I'm shot myself. Numbers, hey, bro. Oh my goodness! Oh my I'm goodness. getting like seven to like ninety thousand. <laughs> My tsunami is also a one oh, oh! I didn't even know, like, I could do that much damage to myself, man. That's crazy. I got it. Never I mind, got I'm it. getting 27. 27. 49,000. Yeah, I'm getting about 400,000 on average. We did crack half a million once with old Take Betsy. And we did over 600,000 with the obliterator earlier. I think I'm doing like 200. I'm not, I'm not sure. So those are the kind of numbers we're doing while playing with Sub Zero. Another half a million there. But one of the things I really like about him is his Teddy. Oh, double kill. I also like how he has the uh, quicker rate of fire with snipers, and I really like his support and tactical squad bonuses as well. Those are probably the main things I like about him. Not really good when it comes to his anti-material charge or face shift. I also like how we reload faster when we get headshots. We just, do we want to? Yeah, I'm only oh, getting no. like around 30 to 40,000 uh, for crit uh, A1 on the Tsunami. Yeah, we haven't reviewed the Tsunami yet. Uh, anyways, let me know which lunar hero and which dragon weapon you all would like to see next. I think a lot of people requested gameplay with Dragon's Claw. I wanted to use it, but we had water enemies. Plus, I kind of want to use it with the soldier. But yeah, that'll do it for our first Sub-Zero Zenith gameplay. For those of you who have tried them, let us know what you think about them in the comments below. I am so embarrassed. I killed myself. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm too OP, man. They're gonna have to nerf me. See, normally, I would just go for another mission. But, I kind of feel like it makes me look good seeing how much damage I did to myself. So, we may just go ahead and use that gameplay. Here are the rewards we got from it. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and thanks for